In this video, we will see how we can deploy a React application to Firebase hosting. Now, I have a React project over here, like I have been uh, working on Web3 projects and stuff. So I have built uh, this simple application with React and I want to deploy it on Firebase. So the first step would obviously be to create a project or have a project already. So I'm going to just create new just to show you. I'm not going to use Google Analytics. Uh, let's just give it a second. Meanwhile, over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new node here and make sure I'm logged in with the same email by which I'm creating the Firebase account. So I'm going to say Firebase log out because I'm already logged in to a previous email. So I'm going to first log out and then I'm going to say Firebase log in. Now, once I will do that, it will ask for this and I'll just hit enter and it will open up that URL over here. I'm going to select the account by which I have created the Firebase project. And once that is done, I'm all, uh, already logged in. I'm going to go to my project and uh, go to the hosting part of it. I'm going to click on get started. It will give you this particular command. I have already run it and I don't want to waste any of your time to show you. Uh, so you just have to copy that, paste it over here and run that command. I have already done that before, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move to the next step, which is logging. So I have already logged in just in front of you. So I hope that is clear. The next step would be to Firebase in it. So I'm going to say Firebase initialization. So in it, once I will do that, I need to choose what I am here to do. I, I want to use Firebase hosting. So I'm going to press uh, arrow keys to select hosting and then press space to select it and then hit return or enter. Now I want to use an existing project. If you are creating the project from the uh, command line, then it, of course, then you can create that you are using a new project. But since I'm using the one which I already have, I'm going to just select that, which is this one, which I just created. Now it is going to ask you for the folder. So you can see there is this public folder, which actually stores all the builds. So let's keep it that like that. You don't have to enter anything, just hit enter. Now it will ask you to configure as a single page rewrite all the and just hit enter. We don't want to do that as well. Now, this is an interesting and very important thing, which I personally do. Uh, it is to set up automatic builds and deploy with GitHub. So I'm going to set this up. If you don't want to there, it's just a faster process for you, but I would like to show you how we can do this. We have uh, this file public already exists. Do we want, do we want to overwrite? No. Now it is going to, uh, ask me for that give GitHub workflow that the reason what why this particular URL open was it was trying to get authenticated with GitHub and it did. So you can see successfully logged in with GitHub because I have already authorized Firebase before. That's why it didn't ask me again. But if you have not, then you will get a sign up kind of flow and you have to just click on authorize. Once you will do that, you just need to provide the rep, uh, repository link. I'm going to open up, uh, open up my repository and copy up uh, this user slash repository. Once I'll do that, click on return. Now again, just to clear this up, this is kind of a one time thing of setting up GitHub. So that's why uh, this whole hosting to Firebase kind of look like taking more time. But once it is done, all you need to do later on is just commit the code and it, it will be automatically deployed to Firebase. Now it is asking that you want to uh, set up the workflow to run build script before every deploy, I will just say yes. And it's, it is asking what script should run before every. So it is already detecting this NPM CI and NPM run build. So let's just go with that. Uh, set up automatic deployment to site live channels with the PR. I'll just hit it. Yes. And we will be using the main branch, which is the this master branch. So I'll just hit enter. Okay. So with all that done, we will click on next. And that is to run this command. I'll do Firebase deploy. And let's see what happens. So now, as we can see, the project has been um, deployed. So let's see if it is live or not. So I can see react app over here as a title. So I think something has worked, but I missed one very important part and that is to build the application first. So right now the public folder does not have anything. It's just a blank thing. We need to uh, build it so that all the things which we have done over here, it can generate a static kind of 
files and then th that those files can be deployed. So what I will do is I will say yarn run build. When I will do that, it will run this react script build and uh, it is going to generate all those build files. So I'm going to give it a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so now you can see that uh, it is generated, but the folder is called build. So this was a kind of a mistake. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just say Firebase in it. And uh, I'm just going to follow the procedure again. Just want to update the name of the folder. So I'm going to say that is build. And then uh, it's more of like enter, enter, enter. And I guess that should not be an issue anymore. Now I will... Uh, press my arrow key so that I can get my previous command, which is Firebase deploy and then hit enter or return. Now I will, I will give it a second and I'll be right back once it's deployed. Okay, so as we can see the project is deployed. So let's refresh and see if any update has happened. So as you can see, the project has been deployed on Firebase. And now if I will make any changes, it will be instantly reflected over here. So I can push some code and it will be, uh, now I have a lot of different backend code, which needs to be updated as well, like in the app and stuff. So I'm not going to update that, but overall, uh, what you can see is like, um, how easy the process of deploying your project to Firebase is. You just need to uh, build the project and then just deploy it. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and I'll see you.